Hey y'all, welcome to my local flavor kitchen right here in beautiful Branson, Missouri. And today I have a special guest, my niece, Livy, all the way from Oklahoma City. So you guys are the Piedmont Wildcats. Yes. Okay, Piedmont Wildcats, she's sixth grade and she has been helping me all weekend long. And you have been hosting here at the restaurant, right? Yes. She is the A number one hostess. She can waitress. She busses the tables. You just do uh, answers the phone, does it all. You do it all. Do you love it? I do. You do love it? I do. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. Are you going to take over the restaurant one day? I don't know. Well, <laughs> maybe. Maybe it's it's in the works right now. I'm training her right now. So today we are going to make something really good. We're going to make a fall dessert for you, and it's going to be called apple shortcake. So we all know what strawberry shortcake is, and now we're going to make apple shortcake. And we are going to use something that um, I don't haven't used very much. It's a new slicer from Pampered Chef. This is a Pampered Chef slicer. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm gonna find the real name for it and let you know what the real name for it. We're gonna use it. So first thing I'm gonna do, I've already washed these apples, so I'm gonna cut these. Let me find a knife real quick. And then I'm gonna cut um, this off of the core and then we're gonna pop it into that slicer and uh, make some little slices of this. And I am leaving the skin on. I like to leave the skin on because um, I think that the skin has all of the good stuff in it and it makes it really pretty. So you can use different kinds. I'm gonna use these Gala apples. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, I don't know the kinds of apples. Well, yeah, there's like Red Delicious, Granny Smith. We can put Granny Smith on there too, some green ones. Yeah, Granny okay. Smith is the only one. Do you there. like Granny Smith? I do. Okay, well, grab a Granny Smith and I'll wash it off and we'll use it to kind of make a red and green. And so you can make your own pound cake if you want, but we're gonna use Sara Lee pound cake uh -huh. because it's easy and it's good. That way, if you don't have time to make a pound cake, then you can just throw this together. So I'm gonna wash this apple off and then we're gonna um, use our little slicer thing, okay? okay. All right. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our slicer and we're gonna make a little sauce for this, but we're gonna slice these up and then we're gonna cook them in a skillet and get them soft. We're gonna cook them with brown sugar, butter, uh, a little bit of vanilla and make a little, make them really soft and then we're gonna put them over our pound cake here, okay? So now I haven't used this very often. So how do you, uh... I do need to find the, the, the name. So I'm gonna do this find the name for you and tell you that in a minute but so we're gonna do this I haven't used this very often so you put your apple in here like that I think you can do like two of them or something and then you pop this in there and then you start pushing like that and it makes little slices look at that it just makes these little slices real thin pretty slices and the the smaller you cut your apple the smaller the little slices will be and then you put your oh I think I cut my finger. Hold on. Oh, I haven't used that very much. Hold on. Will you get, can you get me some ice? Yes. Are you here, okay? Here, let me see. Here, here, put some, here, put some ice on it. So just pop your, just like that, pop your apples okay. in there and then pop it just like that. Oh, whoops. I guess you got to do it that way. And then we'll make the slices. Is that right? Mm. Oh gosh. <laughs> Hold on. I can't do it. There. There. And you push that down like that and you're slicing. Okay. Just okay. like that. I'm going to put your, I'm going to turn our butter on. Okay. There we go. Now we're cooking. This is 
is gonna be so good. <clears throat> so while Livy is slicing our apples, I'm gonna make this sauce that we're gonna put over it, okay? So what we're gonna do is we get about a cup and a half of heavy cream, and we're gonna do one cup of powdered sugar. Is that pretty easy to work? Yeah. Okay. It's just, I know I get kind of backwards on that thing. So it's a veggie, veggie chopper, veggie slicer. I don't know, I'll look it up in a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up real quick with my mixer. We've got one and a half cups of heavy cream and one cup of powdered sugar. Okay. I hear you. I'm sorry? Oh, I didn't know it. And this isn't going to take long, and it will just make this little whipped up concoction here. This is going to be homemade caramel or caramel. Do you say, do you say caramel or caramel? I say caramel. Me too. Caramel. Uh, it's going to be caramel, homemade caramel whipped coffee, and it is going to be so good. And I mean, it doesn't take but just a minute to make this up. We're just gonna whip this up real quick. It starts getting thick pretty darn fast. Well, I figured since it was Halloween that I would um, try to scare Livy. I thought she would have a little bit better reaction. Got a stick of butter already hot and Libby's gonna pour her apples in and the reason we sliced them is because I think it'll just be pretty so oh there's one that didn't get sliced so we'll just eat it yeah that's good pretty much the same thing we did with Ava just kind of making a little um we're gonna put about a cup of brown sugar in there there you go. Okay. We're gonna sprinkle some cinnamon sugar in, probably about a teaspoon of cinnamon sugar. And then we're gonna do about a teaspoon of vanilla. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook that down until these are nice and soft. And then we're gonna put it all together for you. Okay, look at how good our apples are looking. So we've been cooking these for about 10 minutes. And I'm thinking that they're gonna be just about right, right now, okay? So now we're gonna take these over here to the side and we're gonna put everything together. Does that not look delicious? Doesn't that look great? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your Sara Lee pound cake. Now, if you wanna make your own pound cake, go for it. <laughs> but this is how we're gonna do it. All right, you get this in the freezer section, okay? So let me turn it upside down here. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take a slice, just like we're making strawberry shortcake, all right? Just gonna do a slice of this, 
You're gonna put it right here on your plate, just like that. And then get you a spoonful of apples with a little bit of that juice. Oh my gosh, doesn't that look that good? Looks All right, and then we're gonna do our caramel um, whipped, whipped caramel. topping. And since we have this left over and it's sitting right here, we're just <laughs> gonna kind of do this. That looks so mm. good. I mean, oh, I just look fell. at that. Oh my gosh. All right, let's take a taste of that. How about it? Oh, sorry. It's okay. I'm all worried about myself <laughs> not getting you yours. All right, thanks for coming and helping me this week. Yes. You did a fantastic job. Did you make lots of money? This girl gets the tips now. They see this little chick working and they're like, cheers, cheers, all right. Mmm. 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 I think that's better than strawberry shortcake. That is really what good. What do you say? Mmm, that's good. That's a great fall time dessert and everybody's gonna love it. And that's how easy it was. So this is the all-in-one veggie. I'm probably, it's probably not. It's probably not what it is. I just looked it up on, I just looked it up to see what it was. But it says so many different names. Yeah, but you know what? I'm gonna put my Pampered Chef, <laughs> Pampered Chef link on here so that you guys can look it up. And it's like a veggie slicer all-in-one, I think. I'm sorry, Heather, I don't know the names, but you know what? I just can read something and then totally forget it in the next minute. But all of my Pampered Chef sales from this month are gonna go to um, help the North Carolina. I have a friend, Steve, who's taking everything, taking a big load of stuff to help with the North Carolina hurricane. And so all of our uh, proceeds from what we make this month from Pampered Chef, Pampered Chef are going to, I'm so tired, we're worn out. We've been working hard today, haven't we? We've been so busy, praise God. And so anyway, everything that we make off of our Pampered Chef this month is gonna go to help that, okay? So just order some stuff if you want to. I'll put the link on there. And we really appreciate you guys watching. And um, thanks for coming and helping me. You're welcome. And you'll be back in thanks uh, Thanksgiving week. The whole be, week. The whole week, so we'll make some more videos, won't we? Yes. Okay, and I won't cut my finger off. <laughs> Thank you guys. Please subscribe to our channel and watch us on YouTube at Local Flavor Branson. And we really appreciate you guys. And come and see us here at Local Flavor. And Livy might just wait on you. You never know. You had a lot of good tables tonight, didn't you? Yes, but I kind of forgot about a lot of them. Oh, well, that's because I had you doing everything else. <laughs> she was doing everything, but she did great. Okay, thank you guys, and we'll see you next time.